an hour. A senior Nigerian politician, his wife, and a medical middleman have been convicted of trafficking a man to donate an organ. Prosecutors said they planned to remove the kidney of a 21-year-old Nigerian man so it could be given to their daughter who has a debilitating illness. The couple faced the first charges for organ trafficking under modern slavery laws. We're joined now by our Home Affairs correspondent, Tom Simons. Tom, an extraordinary case. Just bring us up to date. Well, E.K. Akwaramado is a well-known political figure in Nigeria, a member of the Senate, a man with international connections. And when his daughter, Sonia, uh, developed a, a debilitating kidney disease, uh, he tried to do something about it. And what he did, according to uh, this verdict, was uh, get a middleman, a man called Dr. Abina Abito, who's also a defendant, to find a donor in Nigeria. And Abita found a young man, 21 years old, in a, a Lagos street market. Uh, this man was brought to the UK, seemingly un unaware of, of why he was coming to Britain. Uh, he was told that he was, would be given a better life, a job, and that sort of thing. And really the conspiracy only came to light as far as the uh, victim of this exploitation was concerned when he had meetings with doctors at the Royal Free Hospital in London where this uh, operation was due to go ahead in the private wing of that hospital. Now the doctors became obviously concerned, they felt he wasn't right medically, but also they were worried uh, that he wasn't aware of what was uh, going to happen to him. And so they called a halt to the whole process. Uh, Ike Akwaramadu uh, and his wife Beatrice, who's also been convicted, were arrested at Heathrow Airport last year uh, and the investigation began. But as you say, it's a highly unusual case and the first time Britain's modern slavery laws have been used in this situation uh, against the trafficking of a, an organ donor. And what, what's been the reaction, Tom? Well, we've had a reaction from uh, the Royal Free Hospital, who've said that they are very pleased that this trial has come to a close. Uh, they'd like to pay tribute to the victim uh, for his bravery in coming forward. Uh, they say that national guidance applies to the decision about whether to go ahead with uh, living donor transplantation. And also doctors I, I've spoken to who are experts in uh, the trafficking of organs say this is a very unusual case. It's very unusual for somebody to try to bring a donor to the UK under these circumstances. More usual is for somebody to go abroad, have a donation in another country with perhaps less uh, serious laws to prevent uh, the system being abused and then come back to the NHS with complications. Uh, but we do know that there were several donations uh, at the Royal Free Hospital, uh, another one actually involving one of the defendants in this case, Dr. Abina Abeta. He received a, a donation himself, an organ transplant himself. And I also, also can say, because it was said in court, that there are police investigations going on uh, which will continue after the sentencing of these defendants on the 5th of May. Tom, thanks for that update. Tom Simmons there, our Home Affairs correspondent.